Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You will obviously be able to tell what the video is from the title, but also from the fact that I have a turkey sat on my head, a Christmas tree which I got from Poundland a couple of years ago and it's probably the worst fake Christmas tree I've ever seen. It honestly looks like it's not been fed for three years. It's literally so sparse. Um, but I have got some cute Christmas cushions here because today I have a Christmas video. It's my first Christmas video of the year. I'm a little bit delayed, but I was in Edinburgh last week. Oh, I got these cute slippers. Look at these, I got these from Edinburgh last week. I'm obsessed with Highland Cows saw these in a gift shop window i'm just there we go so if you see these on my feature in the video that's them anyway as i was saying yeah first christmas video of the year and it's a good one we're gonna be here for a while so i thought i'd film in here today which you haven't seen this room before well you actually have seen this room before this used to be my bedroom then i moved bedroom and now i'm back in here for my office which is so exciting whole video on that probably in the new year so just Bear, bear with me on that one. Don't know why my arm is still outstretched like this, but I thought I'd film in here today because I wanted to film cozy, like sat on the sofa, cute little video, and there is a lot of stuff to get through as well. Um, my legs and my lower back are aching from doing hot pod yoga yesterday, so I was not in a fit state to be stood up for like the amount of time it's going to take me to film this video. So we're sat down today. It's cute, it's cozy. Get yourself a drink, maybe like a hot chocolate or like an eggnog. Don't actually know what eggnog is, but I always want to try it. You know, maybe like a Bailey's hot chocolate, a mulled wine if you're watching this in the evening. Get yourself a drink, get yourself maybe a mince pie. Mind has gone blank on any other Chris. oh treeslets, you know little Christmas cheese crackers. Just get yourself some Christmas stuff to watch this video because it's going to be here for a while. I have spent an arm and a leg and a turkey headband on Christmas decorations this year. It's slightly scary but I have got the office to decorate and my bedroom so at least I've got somewhere to put them all I think. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering and rambling. We're going to get on with the haul. It's going to be a good one. I'm so excited about it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's let's get on with it. First off, I'm going to start off with my beverage today. Look at this mug that I bought. I got this yesterday. This is the most recent addition to the Christmas purchases this year. This I got from Aldi. I have bought three Christmas mugs so far this year. This was the cheapest one and it is my favourite, which is slightly annoying. Um, but look at it. They did like a little Santa Claus, you know, like those little um, gonk things, like those gnomes. They seem to be really on trend this year. They had one of them. I think they had like a snowman. This little guy was too cute. I don't actually know how much it was because it was just one of those things where I'm going to get it regardless. And I was also an Aldi, so like I knew it wasn't going to break the bank, but I think it was about... 3 99 I want to say. I've just got some water in here. I didn't really get anything festive because it took me a while to get around to filming this video this morning. Let me tell you, I've had a bit of a morning. So water it was. So um, yeah, nice water though. Lovely mug. Big fan. So that's the first thing. Then we have some cushions, which I'm so excited about. I forgot I got these cushions last year. I'm not going to lie, but it's okay because I've got the sofa that I can put cushions on and my bed. So at least I've got somewhere to put them all. But when I saw these, I was like, oh my God. I literally, I actually said, oh my God, like out loud when I was online shopping. I was like, oh my God, I need them. So basically for autumn, I got this like Hello There pumpkin cushion with like matching big cushions. And then I basically saw that they've brought out a Christmas version and I was like, oh my God. So basically these are from Georgia Asda. This is the main cushion, how cute. It says Merry Christmas in like a silver stitching and then we've got like holly on it and it's just like a really rustic cushion and it's so cute. And the pumpkin one that I got for autumn, I was obsessed with and it sold out really quickly and I struggled to get my hands on it. So when I saw this, I knew I had to buy it instantly because I knew it was gonna sell out. Not gonna lie, I did buy this at like the start of November. In fact, I bought this at the end of October. So like we hadn't even had Halloween yet, but I just knew I needed to get it straight away. And then the pillows that I got to go with it, I just got two of these. So they're basically the same as the background of this one. And then they've got the green like piping detail around the edge. So what I do is I put the big one on the back and then the other big one where my face is. And then this one, and it looks so cute. Did the same for the autumn one. The, the God, I'm getting so excited. The autumn one had like orange stitching around the edge, but this is my Christmas version and I'm obsessed with them. They weren't that expensive, I think. I actually can't remember, but like I said, they're from Georgia Asda. Everything will be linked down below. I think this was like maybe seven pound and this was like seven pound. And then I did get, let me just show you. I did get this one as well. So I got like, you know, those three. Um, does it have a price on it? No, it doesn't have a price on it. But yeah, they really weren't expensive at all. And they're, you can order them online if you don't have an Asda near you. Because I don't. And I got them online. Okay, let's move them out of the way actually. Because I've got a lot of stuff and there's just not a lot of space. Oh yeah, I did also put up, I just forgot this and I just saw it over there. I put up my six foot Christmas tree yesterday, which is quite big. I got it from B&M last year on like a random, like I've just popped into B&M, didn't plan to buy anything. Came out with a whole Christmas tree and stuff. I put it up in my office this year so that I could like film beside it. But the lighting just wasn't really working and I also wanted to be sat on the sofa. So that's why I'm sat here with this rubbish tree when I've got a really good six foot 
Christmas tree over there, but I will. You can just pretend that you can see the Christmas tree behind me. It's festive, okay? We will actually use that little ramble as a good transition. Next up, we're going to B&M, where I bought this, which I love. Um, I saw this in someone's B&M Christmas haul, and I was like, oh my god. It was also in a magazine that my mum was reading the other day. I can't remember what one, maybe like... I don't know actually i don't know what magazines the woman reads but this is so cute this was only eight pound and it's like a little woodland christmas scene so we've just got like these three little christmas trees with some snow on it they did all have like varying amounts of snow so i tried to pick one that wasn't too snowy but to be honest i'm now thinking like i've never been a fan of like artificial trees with snow on them i prefer the traditional green ones but now i'm starting to think that i might spray paint like not spray paint but like you know get that snow spray for my six foot tree over there because i'm thinking a white christmas tree would suit my aesthetic so much more than a dark green one but i don't know if i'm going to regret doing that anyway i'm on a ramble this morning i've not filmed for like i didn't film at all last week so i'm you know a bit like hi guys i've not seen you in so long it's like going out for a coffee with your friends when you've not seen them for ages and you just have so much to catch up on that's what i feel like but this is the little decoration super cute three little trees on a little wooden plank. No idea where this is going. I have no idea where any of this is going. It could just be a Christmas overload, but then I don't feel like you can have too much Christmas, you know? Like, I just love this time of year so much. As you can tell by the fact I'm sat here in a turkey headband. Christmas decoration number two, I think. And we're already eight minutes in, okay. Let me stop rambling now. Next up, I then got some cushion covers, which are from H&M, which is actually a really good way to make yourself have like less stuff to store at Christmas because once Christmas is over and I've got to find somewhere to store all this stuff, I'm not looking forward to it. So for example, like these cushions are like, I bought them as cushions rather than cushion covers, if you know what I mean. Whereas if you buy cushion covers, you can put them on cushions that you've already got. And then when Christmas passes, you just take the cushion covers off and put on like a springtime cushion cover or something and then you're not having to store the cushions because they're out all year round or just storing the cushion covers does that make sense so anyway i got these which i love i got two of them the other one is just in like a little parcel still and they say merry christmas to all on them and it's like a little kind of beigey background with a, like a black stripe on and i thought on this sofa to be honest i forgot that i bought these when i ordered these so i was thinking that as the ones can go on the bed and these can go on the sofa now i've got too many christmas Christ now I've got so many Christmas cushion covers, but I will. But I thought these would look really cute. Just nice big cushion covers. And then, like I said, you can just change them into a different cushion cover when Christmas has passed. Because H&M often do that. Rather than selling the whole cushion, they just sell the cushion cover. And then you just buy one cushion in it and you can change it. And again, I think these were like 9 99 I think. But um, you could probably get them on sale or something. Or get a discount on them, like 20% or something. Um, and then, again, that's all you've got to store. Super easy. Then I got this, which is one of my favourite Christmas decorations that I bought this year. It's the first one that I bought i think i bought this back in literally like mid october but as soon as i saw it i loved it and this is basically a light up gingerbread house now i saw one in selfridges or harrods i think quite a while ago like when they first brought out their christmas decorations and i loved it but i did not love the price tag and then when i saw this one online on next it was very very similar but the price was so much cheaper so this is 28 pound which is still like obviously a fair amount of money but it's gonna last me for years so this is it and it is so cute so it's like a little resin sort of christmas house and it's got some led lights in it so you don't need to like worry about candles or anything and then it lights up at night time which is so cute and this is what it looks like it is the cutest little thing ever it looks so realistic like it genuinely looks like gingerbread and the icing honestly looks like icing and i have just discovered a real obsession and love for gingerbread themed decorations this year. I think it's because they're a neutral colour that they suit my aesthetic and I like the fact that they're neutral but they're still traditional Christmas if you know what I mean. And the gingerbread decorations you will see throughout the video. You'll see I've got a bit of a theme this year of gingerbread and I'm actually loving it. So carrying on with that, I then got this little guy. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I can't decide whether I like him or whether I don't, but when I saw this in Primark, this is from Primark by the way, 
it was only six pound i think or was it eight pound six pound six pound for this little gingerbread guy i was like oh do you know what i might as well get him they did do a few different sizes this was the smallest size they did and then they did like a medium and then they did a big one and the big one was only like 12 pound i think like it was so inexpensive and it was pretty tall and its legs were like extendable like you could pull it and like make it taller or shorter but i just had no idea where i was going to put that and i've also just remembered that there's a christmas decoration sat on my bedroom windowsill that i've forgotten to show in this haul but i am going to be doing a primark haul because i've got some more primark christmas decorations so i'm going to be doing like a separate whole primark haul so if you want to see some more of the christmas things that i've bought from primark watch that video because i'm not showing them all in this video because i don't want it to be too repetitive but yeah the little gingerbread guy i just thought it was cute i thought it'd fit the theme it was only six pound really reminds me of l darby like i feel like this is very l darby christmas style i feel like she's probably either got this in her house or is going to have this in her house or have something similar but i just thought he was kind of cute are we seeing him like he's a cute color he fits in with the christmas gingerbread theme you know so i got that i did also get some christmas tree like gingerbread house decorations which haven't arrived they're meant to be arriving today so again if you want to see them they'll be coming up in another haul soon so don't panic and then if that isn't enough gingerbread theme decorations i also got this gingerbread house i saw this on georgia asda when i was buying the cushions and I just was like I can't not get this this was an add-on item so like you couldn't buy this unless you bought a few other things like I don't really know why but you had to spend like a certain amount but this was only eight pound which I thought was really good and if you went in store you could probably buy it like on its own um this one I'm not as big of a fan of as the other one just because it's got glitter on it and I don't particularly love the glitter on it but apart from that I think it's really cute because the little like it's got a little Santa Claus and a Christmas tree beside the house and it literally looks like the little fondant like icing decorations you get for a Christmas cake so this is what this one looks like you can't like put anything in it it just looks like that but I thought next to the one <laughs> next to the one that I got from next it would look really cute and again only eight pound and it fits in with the theme so there we go I just need to have a drink I've actually been talking for so long but not showing that much because I'm rambling so I apologize for that but who doesn't love Christmas decorations so this next item is potentially my favorite thing I've bought this year I said that the gingerbread house was but to be honest I can't actually like narrow it down that much because I love them all so much but this I just love this is my favourite, like, random Christmas decoration I bought this year, for sure. And this is from Zara. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a whole Zara Christmas haul anyway, but I just had to show you this now because I'm obsessed with it. This is a little snow globe. It has a little Christmas tree in it, and it's a salt shaker. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your table salt in this, so it's going to look like a snow globe with the salt in it, and then when you're set at Christmas dinner, all over your roast potatoes. I am obsessed with this. Whoever thought of this needs a pay rise. Why this hasn't been thought of before, I mean it might have, I just haven't seen it before. This is a genius idea. The only problem is there isn't one for pepper because obviously pepper in a snow globe doesn't really look like a snow globe. It looks like a snow globe sort of gone wrong or like a snow globe from like a horror movie or something. So, I mean, there was another one that didn't have a Christmas tree in it. It had, I think it had like a, car in it i want to say i can't remember um i actually can't remember what the other one was but i suppose you could always get that and put ground pepper in it wouldn't be quite the same but at least you could have a matching set but this is just adorable um i'm not too sure how much this was i think it was like 15 pound or something which is quite pricey but i would literally pay that three times over to have this that's definitely an exaggeration but i actually love this i will literally be sat there on christmas day probably wearing this headband because i'm so obsessed with it that i just wear this around the house all the time at the moment i don't know why i'll be sat there and i'll say can someone please pass me the salt and they'll be passing me this because there is no way that this is not going to be on my christmas table this christmas and next christmas and the christmas after and every single christmas that i have even if i go to somebody else's house for a christmas dinner this will be coming with me to salt my potatoes because this is incredible and i think it's genius and then because i didn't buy enough gingerbread man things already i also got these from zara and then the rest of the zara things i am saving for the zara haul so you will have to go and watch that to see the rest of them but it made sense to show this now because of the gingerbread man talk these are some little like napkin holder things um not really going to use them as napkin ring holder things i don't really know what i'm going to be able to use them for but i thought i'd order them and like see them in person and at least give it a go so they're four little gingerbread themed little napkin holders we've got a gingerbread man gingerbread lady and then just two little gingerbread houses but i thought they were quite sweet i mean if you're having more than four people for your christmas dinner you would need to buy more of these obviously um but i don't really know what else i could use these for 
but I'm gonna give it a go because they were they were gingerbread. As soon as I'm like seeing gingerbread things, I'm just adding them to my basket because I love them. And if I had my own little house, this would really fit fit with the theme, if you know what I mean. But obviously, like the theme in my bedroom and my office is different to the theme downstairs in the rest of my house. So, like the gingerbread man theme is not running throughout, but I'm gonna make it run throughout by having these at the Christmas dinner. Does that make sense? I don't know, but yeah, there we go. Now we have some baubles. These I'm obsessed with. I have a few in here from different places, but I'm gonna start with the ones that were actually in this box, which is from a company. I just don't wanna get this wrong. From a company called Grace Oliver Designs. Now I saw her on TikTok. It came up on my For You page. As soon as I saw these decorations, I was like, oh my God, I need them. Like they are so up my street. I was obsessed with them. Then I commented on the TikTok to like say, oh, like I've ordered them. And she was like, oh my God, I watch your videos. And I was like, oh, my goodness me like what are the chances of that so yeah these are from a little small business absolutely love them probably the nicest baubles i think i've ever seen and they're from a small business as well so i feel like happier buying from a small business if you know what i mean to like support them i'm obsessed so i got three actual baubles um i got them all in the same color let me just get this right so i got them in stone base with stone detailing so if you go on her website you can get like loads of different colors so you could get like a white base with like I think baby pink on it and stuff so they're kind of like customizable there's like different designs online and then you can choose your colors and the doorbell's ringing again I bet that's a delivery for me and I bet it's Christmas decorations because I just know let's hope my dad's gonna get that my dad has got that so as I was saying you can get like different colors um but I went with stone on stone because that's what she had in like her pictures online and it just looked beautiful and it's so much my aesthetic my parents wanted more color on them even though they're not for them like when I showed them they were like oh I'd prefer more color but we know I'm a neutrals girl so anyway that's the whole life story over so this first one is like little Christmas lights don't know how well it's showing up but I just oh there we go the lighting's gone a lot darker which I'm not a fan of oh is that bad fake tan on my hands no, it's just bad lighting. Um, the lighting's one a lot darker, but at least you can see it a bit better. Can you see what I mean? It's absolutely stunning. Then I got a very similar one, which I think this one's called like tinsel or something. Yeah, this one's called tinsel. So um, it's just like these wavy designs on it almost, but I really liked it. A little bit more chunkier without the lights on and stuff. Again, stone on stone. And then lastly, I got this one, which has little Christmas trees on it. So they're all handmade out of clay and I just love them. And they look so expensive. I don't know if you can see that very well on camera. Um, they look so expensive and they're beautiful. And I also love how the ribbon like matches the color of the clay. Like it's a very neutral colored ribbon, which I absolutely love. So I got those and then I did also buy three of these, which are just these little candy canes. They're on like a little bit of rope and they look like this. So they're white with a little bit of beige detailing. I don't know how well you can see the beige detailing on them, but they are absolutely, I've just realized I've not got a nail on that finger, ignore that. They are absolutely stunning. And I got three of those to go on the tree and I'm obsessed. I just had to stop the camera because it was like recording for too long and the box has just literally fallen and everything has fallen out the box, which is not ideal. I don't think anything is broken, but that's still not an ideal situation, is it? Now I've got packing peanuts literally all over the floor, which is not ideal. Oh, my goodness me. Every cloud has a silver lining. Although my parcel has just fallen on the floor, I've seen that I've got two free little tiny candy canes, which is an absolute win-win. They're adorable, actually. I'm obsessed with them. I kind of want more of them. So that's what I got from there. And then I got a few decorations from Hobbycraft, which I feel like is such a random place for Christmas decorations. And I can't remember why I even went on there. Maybe there was like an advert that I saw or something. But I went on there and I saw they had some really, really good Christmas bits on there. And they're actually really, really cheap. So if you're looking for like very, very cheap, inexpensive, but nice Christmas decorations, Hobbycraft is the place to go. So first off, I got these two little like wooden baubles and these were literally like one pound each i think so i got this little reindeer which to be honest looks more like a deer than a reindeer they probably could have done with putting a little red nose on it but that's that one and then i also got this little penguin which is so cute and it's got like these little um like the little what are they called wings there we go and i thought they were adorable and they looked really nice and really expensive but they're only a pound and then also from hobby craft i got this little like reindeer felt one because i'm just trying to get like beige christmas decorations because i think that is what is going to look best if you know what i mean for me so this again was literally a pound looks like that and then i also got this little gingerbread man which is like 
you can paint on it because obviously it's hobby craft it's meant to be like artsy crafty you know so you're meant to like paint on this and stuff but i saw online they just had literally drawn like a white pair of eyes on it and a white little smiley face and that was it but to be honest you could equally just leave it plain i think it looks quite cute like on its own just as like a little gingerbread man and again that was only a pound and then lastly from paper no not paper chase i don't know why i keep going to say paper chase lastly from hobby craft i got these two because these are like unglazed ceramic decorations so basically again they're like arts and craft ones so you can like paint anything you want on these and then you just glaze them and then they're like a nice little personalised Christmas decoration. So I got like a star and then I also got a heart. They did do a bauble shape and a heart shaped but both of those were out of stock so I went with these two. But my thought process with these is to write on them, like get my family to write each of their names on them and then glaze them because we're starting to get like older like i'm the youngest in my family my eldest brother's like 25 or 26 i think so obviously soon we're gonna start to get our own families and not spend christmas all together like which is a really sad thought but i think so like whilst we're still spending christmases together i thought less i'm probably not going to do both of them i'll probably only like keep one um but like write all our names on them and then we've got a cute little christmas decoration to remember it do you know what i mean again only a pound thought i could just write on them with some sharpies need to buy some glaze job done literally like a three pound christmas decoration sorted i need to slightly adjust my position because my back was already hurting before i filmed this video because of yogi yesterday and now it's actually killing me so just bear with me next up we have a little bit of christmas tack i feel like there needs to be a slight level of tackiness each christmas do you know what i mean like this is quite tacky and so is this but this is so cute i saw this on asda and it's a little dog dish and it says santa paws on it which i just thought was hilarious and it's just like a little paw like shaped dish and it's red and it's only five pound and i thought i'd just get it for the dogs to drink water out of because i've got two big golden retrievers this is quite small for them to eat their breakfast and dinner out of but i thought it was like a little christmasy water dish this was so cute for a fiver i couldn't say no so i got that and then i then also got this from matalan i think it was just a really random shop i went in with mum um a little christmas tree soap which i'm just gonna put in the bathroom it's only two pound fifty and it's refillable they had like a rudolph um they had like a santa claus a penguin they did actually have a gingerbread man but i didn't love the gingerbread man and i preferred the christmas tree so i just got this which i just thought was cute and tacky it says it's winter snow fragrance soap so let's give it a quick smell to be honest it just smells like aloe vera soap or something which i'm not complaining about like i'd rather that than it be like really disgusting but it doesn't smell like winter snow whatever that actually smells like anyway £2.50 I just thought it was cute I couldn't say no then I got some pyjamas because I feel like you always have to get some pyjamas at Christmas time these I got from Georgia Asda and they do them as like a whole family range and I love them last year I got a pair of Grinch pyjamas from Asda which I loved and again super hard to get my hands on they were like really popular because they did them like in all different sizes for the whole family but I love them I can't wait to wear them again this year um so I had a look on Georgia I've been like checking every day to see what new ones they've brought in because I know they sell out really fast when they do become available and i saw these which i just thought was so cute so they say on them i'm pretty fly for a mince pie which to be honest i don't love the t-shirt i just wish it didn't say that but then again it's tacky christmas i'm only gonna wear them at home so it doesn't really matter um and it's just like gray sleeves with like a white base but what i loved about them was the little bottoms i don't actually like mince pies but i loved the little this hair is really annoying me today i love the trousers on them like they're grey with these little cartoon mince pies on and some holly and they look like that and I love them. They are so soft, they weren't expensive. These were £10. Um, I don't know whether I got, let me see, what did I actually order? I ordered a small adult's pair which were these ones, so the adult's ones are £10. I then ordered the kids ones because I preferred what the kids ones said on the front. So like they're all the same apart from the saying on them if that makes sense so these are the kids ones so they're the same bottoms but the top just says i'm a cutie pie which i thought was just a bit cuter like i preferred the saying but i got these in a size 13 to 14 years which normally fits me but this looks a little bit tight to be honest and obviously with pajamas you do want them to be baggy and oversized but they do these in ages 2 to 14 it says these little kids ones and then the bottoms are the exact same and then i do not have a baby i do not want a baby anytime soon to be honest but i saw this and i couldn't not order it to show you in this haul because this is just honestly absolutely adorable so this is the baby ones you've got your kids ones your adults ones and then if you've got a tiny little baby look at this this one says sweet as pie 
this actually to be honest looking at this makes me want a child because this is adorable looks like that and then the little bottoms oh my god look at the size of them these are absolutely tiny look at them so you can literally have your whole family matching which is obviously so cringy but i do love matching family christmas pajamas my family have never done that but my future family where i produce the children will be doing that because i think that is lovely and tacky and Christmassy. So yeah, super, super cheap. Like honestly, like if you want to buy them for the whole family, you're not spending loads and loads of money. Like the most expensive they are is the adults ones, which are 10 pound, which I just feel like you cannot complain. So I got those, which are just adorable. If you're looking for some Christmas Eve pajamas, there we go, job sorted. We are slowly but surely getting towards the end people. This is a very long video, um, partly because I'm a rambler, which we do all know by now, but um, if you're still here, thank you. I did I did warn you, to be fair. I knew it was going to be a long video. Just didn't expect to ramble this much. But if you don't have a drink or a snack by now, you probably want to pause this and go and do that. And I will still be here waiting for you when you get back. So don't worry. This one is going to be a super quick fire. There's a lot in this bag. It's a small bag, but there's a lot of small things. I went to Blackthorpe Barn, I think it's called. Which is the first time I've been. It's near Bury St Edmunds. Um, and they have like a massive Christmas barn, which is just full of Christmas decorations. So I thought I'd show you them. Obviously, they, we don't have an online website, so I don't want to spend ages talking about these in case you are really, really far away from Bury St Edmunds. Um, I mean, I don't live close to it, but I just took the journey. But if you're like up in Manchester, um, but you might be able to find these somewhere else in like a garden centre or another Christmas decorations place. And it might give you some inspiration of like things to look for. So I thought I'd just quickly run through them. So first off, we have this little Christmas reindeer thing. He's just got a little pom pom on him and he's like wooden. And I thought this was so cute. And again, super neutral, 3 .99. There we go. Next thing. Then I got these little um, Christmas like candy canes i forgot i'd bought again like because those christmas decorations that i got personalized i ordered them back in october so i just forgot about them because they take a while to be made and stuff so i ordered these candy canes as well but that's not an issue they're just like these plastic little candy canes they fit in with the um gingerbread house theme so i thought they were cute two pound 29 random but cheap then we have everything individually wrapped because these were like quite little um quite little expensive ones no they're like little fragile ones this um is actually like a little pebble which just says merry christmas which is a little bit random it has this on the back but i thought it was sweet and this is from a company which i cannot remember the name off the top of my head but i will link it down below because you can order their decorations online and other places do stock them so it's not as if it's exclusive to black thought barn so i'll leave that down below in case you want that because i did actually get a few things from that company so if you want them have a look then i got this little glass decoration um which i'm very glad is not broken this is stuck in the tissue paper so this is like a little kind of miniature bauble let me just try and hold it in place and it's got like a little christmas tree in it and then stars on the outside but like it's open there i don't know how you can see that that was three pound 59 but it's cute then i got this little um like oil Thing. it's called christmas spice cottage i thought i could put it in my diffuser um i'm not a, like i love i let me try this again i do like christmassy scents but like i don't like them as much as my mum my mum loves like orange and cinnamon cinnamony scents but i'm like ooh, sometimes they're a bit overpowering but this one's quite nice and subtle so i thought i'd get it and i don't know why the lighting's just gone really dark but it's kind of like joe maloney but christmassy which is like just perfect for me then again from that company that i was talking about that you can order online from um i've got this little like christmas dish this says merry christmas on it and i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this to be honest and it cost me four pound 29 which is quite expensive for a little dish but i just thought it was cute so i obviously got a little bit overwhelmed with the christmas decorations and just picked up and bought what i like i literally bought these things about three weeks ago now and i've not looked at them since so i've kind of forgotten what i got so it's kind of a surprise for me this is then a little santa claus same as the christmas tree um but just a little santa claus inside instead they also did like a penguin and a reindeer i think i think my mum got all four but i think i got just two but we'll find out when i open the rest of the things whether i bought any more of them then we have oh i remember these i'm happy i got these actually these are three little wooden christmas trees and i bought two packs of them you can separate them but you just buy them in a pack of three these were only a pound which i thought was a bargain and they're just like these little wooden christmas trees and i really really liked them and i don't know what i'm gonna do with them maybe put them on the tree or something sound a bit like maracas but um i like them so i got them they were a bargain actually then i got this which is adorable little like ceramic santa thing how cute is that like a weird shape but i really like that and then to go with it 
did I buy a matching reindeer thing? I think I might have, but I can't quite remember. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Oh no, you could buy a matching reindeer to go with it, but I didn't buy it. That's what I'm thinking of. Again, from that company that you can buy things from online, um, I got this little um, like ceramic Christmas tree and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year on it. This you could put on your door, you could use it as a Christmas decoration. It's quite a lot of things you can do with it. It looks like that and then the back just looks like that. Love that, really big fan of that actually. Then lastly, I got this again from the same company. Oh, here we go. This is the company, it's called East of India. Um, I think that's where like those things I was talking about from. This isn't actually a Christmas decoration. I'm going to show it now anyway. It says be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. And it's this little like ceramic cloud. To be honest, didn't love the saying on it. I just love the tiny little ceramic cloud. And I just thought it'd be cute in my office. Not for Christmas time, but just in general. And then lastly, we have this little guy, which I just thought was adorable. This little like ceramic um, reindeer how cute is that so there are all those christmas decorations try to get through them as quickly as possible i'm just going to leave them there now um so if you can see them just ignore that we've only got a few more things to go next up from tk maxx i got this which is a little candle which says under the mistletoe they did have um, a few of these um and they had one with a little santa hat on it which was like down here which i really liked but it said believe on it and like obviously like believe in father christmas and i just didn't didn't love what it said whereas this i just thought was a bit nicer not what it says i don't really love like the under the mistletoe thing i just liked how it looked does that make sense like i like the front of it and stuff and the scent of this is mistletoe magic which does smell a little bit like toilet cleaner to be honest not my favorite scent and the other one did smell nicer it smelled like christmas cookies but i just thought this one worked better and it was nine pound 99 and it's from a brand called ray dunn r-a-e-d-u-n-n -N. so if you wanted to look for that online um they did have quite a few different designs of them that's that and then finally lastly we've made it to the end of the video i got these two so first off i got this which is from selfridges and it's this little hot cocoa like christmas tree decorations which is like an enamel mug with like marshmallows on it and stuff and it looks like a little hot chocolate and you can put it on your christmas tree but to be honest it's quite a big decoration and i was just thinking of cutting out the ribbon and using it like as a little kind of sat on the table decoration do you know what i mean like a i don't know how to explain it but just like a you know sat there decoration this was um 14 pound which is quite pricey but it is from selfridges but i just thought like if i use it as an actual sat down decoration as part of like a scene or something it would look cuter and then lastly i got this little mug which i got from a little christmas market that i went to and it's just got like a little gingerbread man on it it's quite a small little mug but i just thought it's quite sweet and then the other the third christmas mug that i bought this year you'll need to watch the primark call for so make sure you subscribe to see that this was six pound as well and it's from a brand called gisella graham which i think you can order online if you want that so that is everything for this christmas haul it was a long video i hope you enjoyed it this is probably one of the longest videos i've actually filmed there was just a lot to show and a lot to talk about but i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already because there's gonna be a lot of christmas content coming and yeah i'll see you at some point to do another video bye